All right, Lowdown Lacrosse fans, it's time now for our second interview segment with Rochester Nighthawks forward Corey Vitarelli. You guys started off uh, on an 0-1-3 losing skid, but you guys have rebounded nicely with a three-game win streak now. Uh, in your mind, what have you seen, uh, what has changed for you guys? Uh, you know, I think we're just, we're playing better as a team, and, you know, basically we're playing a simpler game for 60 minutes. You know, we had some troubles early on with some inconsistencies, but, you know, for the most part, I think it's just taken us a bit of time, too, to kind of get familiar with each other, and past weekend obviously is the best lacrosse we've played yet this season and with uh you know offense scoring a lot of goals and defense shutting the door and Vino uh making the big saves that we need so i mean i guess if we can just keep that going we'll be good but just basically you know guys sort of finding rhythm with each other you guys made some huge uh, acquisitions in the off season, uh, especially on the offensive side, picking up uh, you know the great Dan Dawson and Casey Powell. Um, your offense looked to, looked to struggle a little bit early on. Uh, was it just a matter of uh, time and, and creating some chemistry? Yeah, I think so. I mean, obviously, you know, there's still work to be done, and you know, guys are still obviously trying to figure each other out. But you know, I think obviously we've started to gel a bit as a as an offensive unit, and you know, I don't think we sort of struggled you know in the first few games of the season we were still getting good looks but you know it was just kind of a matter of finishing our chances and you know we talked about that and talked if we talked about you know if we move the ball you know keep our feet moving obviously anyone on our offense can be a threat and you know we've we've tried to do that the last few games and you know I think it's sort of paid dividends with the number of goals we've we've gotten you guys have rebounded nicely you're on this three game win streak uh, what have you been most impressed with so far this year uh, you know, just the guys battling for each other, really. You know, everyone's sort of doing it for the guy beside them. And, you know, to be successful, that's what you need. And, I mean, I hope that continues. You guys have so many uh, weapons on offense. It, uh, it seems any given night, uh, you know, you've got somebody who will step up. Uh, what's that like? What kind of confidence does that give your team? Oh, it's definitely, it's you know, it's a reassuring factor kind of thing. And that's the thing with our offense. Everyone sort of has a role to play but you know within those roles you know we talk about any night any guy can you know be the guy who sort of lights on fire or you know has a big game and gets us a few big goals and you know we have I mean any guy can do that and um you know I think for us to be successful obviously that's what we got to do yeah in sports they always say a road trip is the great unifier and it looks like that's the case again with you guys uh, talk a little bit about the weekend and how it helped uh, develop team chemistry for sure you know it's a funny league with not being able to spend as much time with your teammates as you'd likely prefer but you know for us we knew it was going to be a tough weekend anytime you play back-to-back games and you know we knew we had our work cut out for us but to, to spend time with guys on the road you know you kind of get more familiar with each other and just jokes and that and it sort of brings everyone uh, you know closer together and I think that kind of showed in the gameplay, just, you know, guys sticking up for each other and playing hard for one another. And, you know, we got pretty fortunate actually playing so early Friday in Philly because, you know, our flight got canceled to Buffalo. So we ended up riding a bus to Buffalo from Philly. And I think we were on it for eight, nine hours, you know, and something like that really at the end of the day is probably beneficial to our team instead of sitting on a flight. So, you know, we got a good team and hopefully we can just keep things going. You guys had an early 11 a.m. game with Philadelphia as part of uh, an elementary kind of school promotion and, and a way of growing the game, but that had to be a little bit of a stretch getting up for that. What was it like? I, I don't think, you know, I've played that early since minor sports, and, uh, you know, it's not usual, so it was a bit of a shock to the system, I guess, to be up so early and having to be so, you know, mentally focused, but you know, at the same time, it was kind of fun. It's neat, not something you get to do a lot, so it was a nice kind of change up. And, uh, you know, I'm definitely happy with the result. You know, it's a funny league, even with, you know, weekend-to-weekend games. So, uh, I mean, I don't think I'll be excited to play any more 11 o'clock games, but uh, I was happy with the result. Now, did it take some extra work to get prepared or get into the game at that early? Uh, Not really. I mean, obviously it's different, but uh, we got up early and had a 7 o'clock team breakfast sort of to get everybody up and going and, Um, you know, I think that kind of got everybody sort of dialed in for that day. And I mean, outside of that, 
got to the rink same time, you know, a couple hours before the game. So, I mean, realistically, it was just sort of like any other game. And uh, I guess the only thing different is when the game was over, it was a lot earlier than it would be for a normal evening game. Yeah, I know they tried to get a lot of students out and, and grow the game there. It sounds like a good idea, but I didn't see a very big turnout. Was it pretty quiet there? Uh, there was a fair amount of fans, but yeah, I don't think, obviously, the number they were hoping for. Um, you know, I heard rumors that they, they were hoping to get more, but I, I'm not sure if they'd get insurance with the kids. But, I mean, oh, I, I like the idea, you know, to bring the kids in and, and have a game like that to promote the game. So, I mean, hopefully if they do it again or if other teams do it, it, it can be, you know, just as, if not more, successful. I notice if you look at the schedule, uh, it's quite hard to actually pick winners here this year. Um, it seems on any given night, anyone can win. Have, have you ever seen the league uh, so balanced? Just the fact, I think, that there's only nine teams and there's so many good players and even so many good players that, you know, aren't even in the league playing because there's just not enough spots. And, you know, every weekend is, is so big and any team can win on any given night. And I know that's the old cliche, but, you know, in this league, it's it's really the truth. And, you know, there's been a lot of one goal games and any weekend any game it's it's almost hit or miss you know if you bury your chances you'll win and you know you get a couple posts maybe you won't and you know it's it's good i enjoy playing in that and i know obviously other guys like it and it's good for the fans so uh i don't know i think you know it's just the caliber of talent in the league now why are we seeing more crease dives in the nll versus the uh, summer msl league is it kind of a difference in rules or approach I think just the the crease rule, sort of the summer, uh, you know, I think they blow it down pretty quickly in the summer, anytime, even if your stick kind of crosses the plane of the crease. Um, So, you know, the NLL obviously is a bit more exciting in that respect that, you know, you can dive as long as the ball crosses before you hit the crease sort of thing. And, I mean, I like it. Obviously, defenses are good. So if you're, you know, able to do that and obviously try to avoid the goal, you don't want goalies getting hurt. But, I don't know, I think it just kind of makes it, fun filled and I mean there's been some nice goals scored and I like the NLL rules a bit more in the summer you know promotes kind of a faster game and and more skill so it is funny going you know league to league because even some of the rules you know with the chin cup coming undone like you know you think is that a penalty you're not sure because it's almost confusing but you know I I definitely prefer the the rules in the pro league and hopefully the summer can change a couple to sort of gear it more to that style.